Now a proposal that has been talked about for a long time finally is on paper. They are thinking about shrinking the National Assembly and that could mean a return to a pre-revolutionary custom. Local 10's Hatzelvella reports exclusively from Havana. The new Cuban constitution says within six months the National Assembly must come up with new electoral laws and one of the proposals now being presented says they're going to cut the National Assembly by 131 members. The current National Assembly is made up of 605 members. Half of the candidates are nominated at the neighborhood level, while the other half are nominated by public organizations. The new proposed electoral law says there should be a representative for every 30,000 Cubans. That means the new assembly would have 474 members. It is from here where the country's president and vice president is chosen. Under the new constitution, whomever is chosen as president would appoint the prime minister and governors for each province, both new positions in the Cuban government structure. You're looking at Local 10 News video from inside the newly renovated capital, built in 1929 and once the center of Cuban government, with two chambers, the House and the Senate. It was last year in March when after eight years of renovations, part of the building reopened. Cutting back the number of assembly members will make it easier for the National Assembly to move back in and work out of the historic capital building. In recent history, the Cuban National Assembly has met at the Convention Center, which is not in the center of the capital city. I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News, Havana.